Okay, so Not Happen is back with another damn demo day. Today we have a game, uh, Body Count, a game that's coming out uh, later on this month. A game that I was, uh, I just recently learned about it, but I became very excited to play this game. And I was surprised that, um, that well, I was surprised when I saw the demo. I figured there was going to be a demo for it, so I figured I'd put it on damn demo day. Uh, the, I'm playing this game on... Um, Xbox 360 I just downloaded it off Xbox Live uh, this is first person shooter and uh, hold on I'll give you some information in a minute I'm about to drop knife this guy some people drop shot I drop knife boom anyway this game according to uh, Wikipedia so take it for what it's worth uh, this game is being developed by Codemasters that's a fact and um, and developed by the uh, what is it the guild guildford studio and what's more important is that for those of you who have uh who've uh played uh black on uh ps2 i don't know whether it came out on xbox but for those of you who played the game black on ps2 this is uh, according to wikipedia considered a spiritual successor to the game and, it, uh, and it's developed by the same team and I know for a while they were uh, rumored to be a uh, black sequel, and then it got canned. But if this game is as good as Black was, this game is going to be pretty awesome. It's it's uh, action packed. It definitely is action packed. Um, I don't know what type of gun I'm using. It looks kind of like an ACR, but I'm not sure. Um, this uh, the the aiming mechanism is pretty weird. Um, if you can see me right now, I'm trying to learn how to uh, uh, duck behind that cover. Uh, if you aim down the sights in this game, you can lead from side to side, but I, for the life of me, could not figure out how to walk and aim down sights at the same time. I'm not sure whether there's a way to do it, or if I just missed it. Oh, I sincerely hope that there is, because that would really limit the movement of your character while aiming down sight maybe they don't want you to move while you're aiming down sight because hip firing works very well in this game um they also give you a lot of health because a lot a lot of times i was getting shot up pretty bad i thought i was gonna die but i didn't uh the the cover system is is effective it works pretty well the the good thing about that is that it's very realistic if you like just a couple seconds ago i was ducked behind that uh that concrete barrier and as the enemies were shooting at me the barrier was disintegrating that's really realistic and I like how they incorporated that into the game some other things they incorporated into the game are uh, as you can see right here the fact that the walls they could be shot up you can shoot through them later on in the demo I actually have to shoot through a wall to get to a computer terminal that's really I like that that is really a good part to add in this game and it it reminds me of a uh, red faction because red faction is similar to that in that you can uh, you have destructive environments where you can tear up walls and buildings and everything graphics look great uh, they're not the best but they're not the worst they're actually above average i'll say they're above average they look really good sound is amazing the computer the ai is pretty smart they don't just stand around and do dumb stuff it's a lot of enemies to shoot and it really like again it reminds me of black and as soon as i as soon as i read that i was like man yeah okay okay i understand i see the similarities between the two so this could be a successor to black you know instead of it being black too it's called body count you're graded on your the way you kill your enemies you get points for headshots and certain trick shots. There's a, a summary of it at the end of every uh, level. You pick up these blue spears, and I, I really, I honestly, I don't know what they're for. I'm pretty sure the game told me, but I was so excited to actually play the game that I must have overlooked it. This guy right here is the boss in the level. He's got a pretty good gun. I mean, he has a death machine. And um, it's funny right here because I figured that I was going to uh, stay up in this building and like kind of pick them off from down below. And you'll see here in a minute why that's not going to happen. 
I'm just up here shooting, and then all of a sudden, here he comes. I'm like, oh, shit, this guy follows me, and he's pretty quick. You would think a guy that big with that big-ass gun would be slow as hell, but no, no. He's fast. The controls of this game are similar to Call of Duty, except for your melee is now your... I guess it's like a tactical layout instead of the normal, because your melee is circle, and your, your duck is the... Uh, the right hand stick so yeah yeah it's like tactical loadout so not that bad of a learning curve you, you should be able to pick it up pretty quickly especially for you drop shot and fans out there in the cod world uh, the controls were responsive they uh, they were pretty good I don't know whether they'll have an online element to this game but I really 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 hope they do because a game of this caliber and as fun as it is it needs to have an online part if bloodstone 007 can have an online part this game should too i like how they change the aiming uh, mechanism to where they bring the gun towards you and it's kind of off to the side and right here i get confused as hell i get killed a bunch of times because i thought that i was supposed to collect those little glowing things and uh, apparently they're landmines and it took me a while to see I'm like okay do I go back around here maybe I gotta run over here no those are landmines you can shoot them and they'll explode uh, I'm not sure I guess you can shoot them and they, uh, make them explode and then you can go pick up I don't know maybe secrets or so uh, I don't know but anyway, it's coming up on the part where I have to shoot through the wall to get to the computer terminal. Look at that palm tree. The colors are really vibrant in this game. The, the, the team really put a lot of effort into uh, the uh, environment and the, the little things like splinters of wood when you shoot up a wall and things like that in the, in the sound. And those are the things that I really like in video games, especially shooting games. Uh, you've heard me talk about it before in games like Medal of Honor and Battlefield. They have really good sound and it really sets the atmosphere and really makes you seem like you're in a battle. So, I, I, a thumbs up on that part. This game looks like it's going to be really fun and I'm definitely, definitely uh, going to put forth a lot of effort to buy it. And I will bring you... Uh, more videos of this as soon as I get it. This is definitely something that could be added to the uh, shoot 'em up weekend. Look at that, just shredding right through it. Look at that. Awesome game. Really good. I was really looking for a good demo to play, and like I said, when I saw this, I was I was like, I got, I have to do it. I really have to put this out there because I don't know how many people are really paying attention to this game, especially so close to Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 coming out. Those are really two two big heavyweights that are going, you know, toe to toe, and a lot of people are really paying attention to them. And a game like this will slip through the cracks. I'm glad that it's coming out before. The, the other two games because it could gain a lot of support that way but check this game out download the demo the demo is free check it out uh, this is one I got off Xbox Live I think I saw it on PSN Network I don't see why it shouldn't be on PSN Network maybe uh, I don't know but anyway if you have Xbox definitely check it out if you have PS3 please see if they have it like I said I think they do but definitely check this game out this is a sleeper this is really a sleeper I did not I thought the game I saw a video of the game and I thought that it was gonna be great just watching the video but actually playing it this game is amazing so don't let this one slip by I know you'll, you'll probably see it on the on the shelf and say I ah, just wait for that to go to clearance no buy that game immediately because this game is pretty good Look at those explosions, and another explosion. This video is just about done. Uh, I picked up some more subscribers. I really appreciate it. I'm joining more gaming forums, and I'm trying to spread the word as much as possible. Uh, thanks for all the support. I'm not having it, and I'm out.